obviously the F-150 that just flew by as it's sounded Yeah, like I that. think I think they're confident that they know what they're doing. They were probably laughing at our California license plates as they drove by. Oh, this guy too. This guy too. They don't know how to drive in the rain and the snow. And a big rig. Are we being passed by a big rig right now? Oh, yeah. All right, Blake. All right. That's what we're doing? Oh, it's all the cows. It's with all the cows in it. Yeah, those cows are very cold. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasting. Good morning, everyone. It is vlog day six. <laughs> Happy it. Easter. That that I do know. It is Easter right now. Did you push the down button? Blake doesn't know how to work an elevator. We um, are up and dressed and showered. And, ooh, there's some good lighting. Ooh, ooh. And um, we're getting into the elevator right now. Ooh. Here, we've got some Inception. Jamie and a Jamie and a Jamie. Hi, Blake. Hello. hello. <laughs> so we're going downstairs right now. We're in the hotel still. And we're about to go get some breakfast buffet with Katie. Oh, we're meeting her over there right now. And I think I'm going to get a mimosa. <laughs> All right, we'll check in soon. Yeah, that's it right there. Yep. Enterprise Center. Enterprise Center. Yep. yep. That's where the blues play. So we just left our hotel and just checked out, unfortunately. I'm not ready to leave, but I guess I have to go with my husband to wherever he's going. Right now we are driving down the street. We are about to go check out the arch. I've never been here before, of course. Neither has Blake, so this is gonna be really fun. Check out these tulips growing next to us. Wow. Holy moly, those are gorgeous. Wow, this city is really, really special. It is really beautiful. It's pretty cool. We're thoroughly enjoying being here. This is crazy. Yeah, I am. What an idea. Definitely not going up there. You won't catch me at the top of that thing. Uh uh. Of course. Oh my gosh, we are on an old cobblestone road now. It's all part of, the, part of the experience. I feel like we might throw an axle. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Our horse is gonna throw a shoe. We're, we're, we're throwing shoes, losing, losing axles. Everybody's dying of dysentery, but this <laughs> is uh, really, really cool down here.
There's the old Miss. The Mississippi helicopter tour. See, it was a helicopter oh, tour. Take off right there on the little barge. Oh hell, no thanks. I'm good. Yep. Yeah, right there. Yep. Take a helicopter tour that launches from that barge in the water. It's not sketchy at all. Freezing to death right now. So there it is. We're under the arch. Super windy. You probably can't hear anything I'm saying, but um, so I'll admit, I thought the arch was white. I had no idea that it was made out of like metal. I don't know why. I just probably always saw it reflecting the sky and the clouds and stuff. It always looked white to me. Unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to Katie. We have checked out of our hotel. We saw the arch, which was unbelievably cool. And now we are on the road again. We are on our way to Iowa. Our time in St. Louis with Katie though was definitely of the peak. That was the highlight of the trip so far. Just, she is just absolutely one of my favorite people in the whole world. We just had so much fun with her, just constant non-stop fun. And so I just can't be happier about how all of that went down. Um, but now Blake especially is super excited because we are on the way, our way to his grandma's house in Iowa. And today is the first day we are actually getting some weather. So it just started sort of sprinkling on us, raining on us. We're watching the radar and I think we are going up the eastern side of Iowa and then over to the west to Fort Dodge where his grandma lives because the western side of Iowa and sort of the center part of Iowa through Des Moines is getting snow right now but the eastern side is just rainy so we're hoping that as we're going north the storm system will pass over us as rain <laughs> and by the time we have to head west to his grandma's house then it'll it'll be gone so we might hit some snow we're hoping we don't because we don't have chains if chains are required anywhere although to me that seems more of like a mountainy thing I don't think, we'll need I don't think you need chains when you're just like on a country road Plus, I don't think it's made a lot of snow either is it 
I don't know. I don't know how much snow it's gonna be. Said there would no be idea. Of it yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look like major, major, but you know, any kind of storm system at all is major to us because we don't get this. So <laughs> it's well, exciting it's and it's stuff. fun. Yeah, I think it, it doesn't look like a huge thunderstorm or anything. It's just a little weather system going through. So that's what's going on now. It has been a really, really fun trip. And it's like, we're, we're kind of at about the halfway point right now. And uh, it's already been very, very eventful. quiet town really old houses some, yes. some of them wow beautiful lights in there. That's wow. pretty crazy <laughs> high schools look that way yeah, high school. yeah, so no wonder uh, kids peak in high school <laughs> look at the nicest building old town <laughs> Oh, and this is the middle school right next door. raining and it's cold <laughs> 39. 39 degrees outside so we're just uh we're in it now <laughs> all right we've got sleet happening with occasional dead deer on the side of the road if you just saw that Actually, like more than occasional deer, like tons of dead deer on the side of the road. We have seen so many on this trip. But um, yeah, it's definitely sleeting on us now. What's the temp? 37? 37. It's 37 degrees outside, so we're kind of right in that, you know, mix, mix of rain and it like wants to snow, but it's not quite, it's not quite cold enough. So uh, that's where we're at. Iowa's looking a whole lot like Iowa right now. Only only wet. Windows fogging up a little bit so you can't really see it. But uh, yeah, we're just hoping that we can kind of stay ahead of it and it doesn't get any worse than this. But um, yeah. Three hours and 21 minutes. Three hours and 21 minutes to go. It's been building up behind us as we look at the radar. The place that we just came through in like northern Missouri is now having like a looks like a really bad thunderstorm so i think we did time it as well as we could have it's just a matter of getting there now before it gets so cold that the roads get icy that's the only thing i'm really concerned about at this point but we'll see what happens when we get off of this road and we start heading more west where it's actually colder um we'll see if conditions change at all but for now we're all right so we have made it to Cedar Rapids, Iowa now. And as you can see, it has stopped raining on us. But I have a feeling that this is going to be a little bit of the calm before the storm. <laughs> because according to the radar, I think once we hit Waterloo and we start heading west, it looks like we probably will be getting some snow. So um, we'll see how that goes. But for now, Everything's good, and uh, there's Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It looks uh, it looks nice. What river is this? You know, it's, uh, the Iowa River. Cedar River. Cedar River. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Blake doesn't know. He's driving. He can't research things for me right now. It this almost looks like two Power rivers. House. Blake's trying to find an arena. Some minor league hockey team plays here and he's trying to figure it out. Okay, we have just transitioned from going north in Iowa. We are now going west in Iowa 
from Waterloo area to Fort Dodge. And we have not had any rain since the last time I picked up the camera. And it looks like there could be something up ahead of us that we're driving into, but on the radar, it's also showing that it's supposed to be raining right now where we are in this very moment. So it kind of looks like maybe the precipitation is uh, showing up on the radar, but it's not actually hitting the ground. And you can kind of see, see if I can darken the, the thing here. There we go. You can kind of see how the clouds almost look like the, the rain is coming down or the clouds are sort of just lingering right above the road, but the, the rain isn't actually hitting the ground. So maybe it won't be as bad as we think. And maybe we're just going into a whole lot of nothing, but we'll see. starting to definitely just be wet. Oh yeah, I'm starting to see it kind of blow in now. Yeah, yeah we're hitting a little bit of a snow flurry now. Or we're, we're kind of right on the edge. It's, of, uh, it's 34. Oh yeah, you can see it, it yeah, yeah. blowing in now. We've finally reached the little edge of it actually being snow. But obviously it's not sticking. It's just wet on the ground. It's not snowy at all. Um, but we'll see what happens as we keep going because it should just keep getting colder as we go forward. So, um, yeah, it's looking pretty, <laughs> it's looking pretty just bleak out there right now. Obviously the F-150 that just flew by as it's seven. Yeah, I think, there. I think they're confident that they know what they're doing. They're probably laughing at our California license plates as they drove by. Oh, this guy too. This guy too. They don't know how to drive in the rain and the snow. Are we being passed by a big rig right now? Oh, yeah. Alright, Blake. Alright, that's what we're doing. Oh, it's all the cows. with all the cows in it. Yeah, those cows are very cold. That looked empty, actually. Well, it looks like... It's kind of hard to see on camera, I think, but it looks like the snow is kind of starting to stick ever so slightly on these uh, corn cornfields. Yeah, it's just barely the center of barely white yeah, you might be able to see it it's, it's just hard to pick up on camera because we're moving so fast yeah. but um, it is starting to just barely stick I mean we're just talking a snow flurry here but it's not nothing and can't think of the last time we drove in snow so it's kind of fun well, Oregon Oregon Eugene. yeah a couple of years ago yeah yeah. Oh yeah, here you can see it on the side of the mountain right or the hill right there. Mountain. The mountains of Iowa. The Iowan mountains. They got a lot of snow here. This is the most snow we've seen this whole drive. <laughs> 